Today we wanted to uh, create a video uh, about how to add a user uh, to your ACC7 VMS system. Um, as always, we recommend coming up here and open up the help file. You access the help file by clicking the cog, help, uh, and you would add in search for user, or add a user, and bring it to this page. Um, I will, would like to mention that if you're running uh, Enterprise Edition of ACC and you're integrated into Active Directory, um, there's a different set of instructions for this, and that's not going to be covered in this video. Uh, also, if your system is integrated into your ACM system, um, that uh, setup process is not a part of this video. It will make one at a, another time for both of those. Uh, but you can see here, uh, it's a pretty simple 10 step process to add a user to the system. So uh, why don't we dive right in? So um, step one is you have to get in the setup. So you can come up here, you can press the uh, hamburger button, as I like to call it, uh, site setup, or you can come in here if you're in the uh, camera view uh, screen, you can right click here, go to setup, you hit setup, uh, you can see um, you have access to the users and groups. Click users and groups, and you hit add user, uh, create a username, call new user Bob Jones. Enter a last name. Uh, you can enter an email address here. You can enable and disable the user. Um, you can enable login timeout. Basically, uh, this is for more higher security applications uh, where if you want to set the system up to auto log out the user if they don't interface uh, with the system in the specified amount of time, uh, you then have to create a password. Uh, this password must meet the minimum uh, password requirements in the system. Uh, you require password change and next login. This is typically what we recommend for uh, administrators to help their users um, if they forget their password. So what we typically recommend is um, admin comes in, goes to the user, clicks require password change, changes the password to something uh, rather simple. Um, and then uh, they send this new password, a temporary password to the user, they log into the system, and then they're required to change the password. Um, this way, uh, the admins don't know um, any of the, uh, the user's passwords. Um, Password never expires, so if you don't want this password uh, to ever expire, uh, if not, you can set the, uh, the days required before you have to change the password. Um, here, you can add uh, the user to uh, Vigilant Blue and enter in your uh, Blue account or uh, Vigilant Cloud Services, uh, I guess I could say now. Um, then uh, you have to add this user to a group. Uh, here are the groups that are set up in the system. Uh, we're going to click a standard user. You can see what they can access in the system um, and what they can do uh, with the system right here. Click OK. Close. Uh, now we're just going to um, log out of the system. We're going to log into system with our new user. And we are now logged in on the new user that we just set up. Um, we should check to make sure our user rights. So if you come in here, the, the whole screen's blank except for access control. And if I try to make any setting change on any camera, I no longer have access. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel. For more information, please check out twgsecurity.com.